Good morning to you on this Monday morning. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. We begin looking at 1 John chapter 3 this week. So we today will look at just the first verse. See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us, that we would be called children of God, and such we are. For this reason the world does not know us, because it did not know Him. If we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we are children of God. See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us, that we would be called children of God. And not only are we called children of God, John says, such we are. Remember he wrote in his gospel, for as many as received him, he gave power to become the children of God, those who believe on his name. When we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, when we confess our sins and accept him as Lord and Savior, our status changes. Our old self, our old Adam in us dies and we put on Christ. We are born again. We are born again into his family and we become children of God. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. We can't work our way into heaven. We need to be born into heaven. We need to be born again through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's as simple as that. But once we are, we're not only called God's children, we are God's children. And as we'll see in the coming days, that means that we will have a lot of things coming our way. But what a wonderful thing to know that the God who created everything is our Heavenly Father. And we can approach Him at any time with anything that's on our hearts, knowing that He hears us, knowing that He loves us. We can call out Abba, Father. He is our Father. He loves us. We are His children. See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us. We can't earn our adoption as children. We can't buy it. We can only receive it through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It cost him a tremendous price to bring us into his family. He had to shed his blood and suffer hell so that we could be in his family. That's how precious we are to him. How precious is he to us? We must remember in everything that we say, everything we do, that we are God's children. And for this reason, the world does not know us because it did not know him. To people of the world, our faith is strange. They wonder why we have joy and love and peace and hope when all around is despair. They don't understand why we don't do certain things, why we don't satisfy our fleshly desires, why we seek to serve something higher, something more powerful, something more meaningful. They can't understand because they're still in darkness. Darkness and light do not go together but we must continue to shine that light that they too would be attracted and come in and become part of God's family because Jesus died for all people. Let's join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for this new day. As we embark upon a new week, we ask your blessing as we consider this week the fact that we are children of God. Help us to realize what that means. What a tremendous privilege has been given to us. Help us, Lord, to honour you. Forgive us for the times that we haven't. May the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in your sight, pleasing to you, Lord. May we bear a great witness, a great testimony to others, what it means to be part of your family. Help us to love our brothers and sisters. Help us, Lord, to set an example. Help our lives to be inviting, to be an example to others what it means to live as one of God's children. Thank you that you provide for us so much, that you have given us everything we need. We ask your blessing over this day. We ask your blessing, Lord, over our loved ones near and far. We pray for our governments and all in authority in these difficult and dangerous times. We ask, Lord, for peace. We pray for wisdom. We pray for that soul that doesn't know you yet, that today would be the day they come into your family. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for anyone who is in despair at this time or depressed. Lay your hand upon them. Give them joy, peace, hope. Father, we thank you that you are our Father and that we can say, Abba, Father. We can come to you with everything in our hearts, knowing that you provide for us. We realize that on our own we can do nothing, but with you we can do all things. As Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So we commit ourselves in you to you today. And now we join together in praying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.